Hello, hello, and welcome back for some more Sea of Stars. Um, so last time we left off here, I believe they were just sending us out into the world. So here we are. Um, yeah, let's see how far we can get. I don't actually know if I'm going the right way. I think I am. Uh, let's go after this guy. I have to remember how to play this. It's been a couple days, so... Now we get to get smacked. Nope. Aha! Okay, so that did count. That's good. Nice. Okay. So we just have to deal with the ant thing over here. Who apparently summoned reinforcements, you little shit. Punched again. Sort of. <laughs> I'm terrible at the defending. So stop that one. No, we didn't stop that one. I don't normally mess up the uh, attacks. Kill that one, he's almost dead. Or don't. Oh, I don't have like a big AoE one. At least we're down to just one until he summons reinforcements. Yay! I mean, I, I really shouldn't. Yay! After that, I did a terrible job. That's all right. Woohoo! There's a chest. Wait, what? Cool. How do I get... Hold on, how do I get over there? Did 
do you guys again. Who am I, Belier? Of course. Let's go after that. He's twenty eight. Oh, wrong one. He's sword. She's the I keep thinking that. He's the mallet type one. Whatever that is. Hammer. So bad at defending. Oh, he almost killed it. Only has one health left. <laughs> one health again. Damn it. To not like those little ant thingies with their their summons. Ooh, worth it. Chest found a silver sword. Did we already buy one of those? No, we didn't. Yay! That's an upgrade. Cause I think I did buy uh, some weapons from that first area that we were in. I'm kind of glad I did now. I wasn't sure if this one is uh, one that pays off. Oh, I need to go over there and get that mushroom. Because, like, some it's really not worth buying from the... the towns, from the stores, but... Especially early on. But I feel like that was worth it. <laughs> eh. For full health, let's go. I take it back, let's don't go. Oh, whatever. That's probably not good. Five. Holy crap, Belier. Oh well.
Yep. I must say, I am really enjoying the combat in this. Uh, like I said, I'm terrible with the timing of some of these, but I like it. It's pretty fun. I like how they do explain it as, look at it as a bonus, because that kind of makes me feel not as, quite as bad. Uh... What on earth is this thing? It's one that you really start to kind of feel a lot stronger, which is kind of cool. I'm doing a lot more damage to these guys than I used to, which is cool. How on earth do I get that? Hmm. Soup. Fishing lakes. Okay, maybe the outpost is where we're supposed to go. I don't, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going. Kind of lost track of that a little bit. Hey, look at the view. What is this? Potatoes? Did I want to go the other way? Eh, no, not really. Get out of the water. Look, someone's over there. She's cool looking. I was like, uh-oh, is it going to be someone I have to fight? We should ask for directions. She looks busy. Bah, I'm sure it's fine. Hello, is there something special about that big rock? <laughs> She's kind of staring at it. Yes, come look at this. It's... Dot, dot, dot. This looks like, yes? Nah, it must be my imagination. I was like, what? Ahem, so what are those? Fascinating is what they are. These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? Traveling historians, of course. Or at least what's left of them. No way, you're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you, my name is Garl. Nice to meet you too, I'm Teeks. She's kind of cool, I like her. So are your friends always this quiet? Well, they have kind of been locked up sewing for years, so. Ha ha ha. Nah, Valir and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Yeah, they've been up there sewing, question mark. 
magic hair, enchanted cloth pieces. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. You're solstice warriors. We, I. I knew it. Adventurous spirits fated to unravel mysteries unknown, fearsome in battle, and encounter countless forgotten artifacts. A traveling historian's best friends. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm cool with having her come along. She just needs to calm down a little bit. I mean, well, someone's excited. <laughs> and we thought girl was something. Hey guys, Teeks has an offer for us and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Yeah? Why don't you eat with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh, well, don't be shy. We're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Garl's cooking. I... Okay, thanks. That's it. One stew coming right up. That's this perfect place to set up camp. There wasn't there, there, there wasn't even a camp thing there. Thanks again for the food, Garl. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us again anytime. So... You're the very last traveling historian. At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the lore grimoires were burned. The what now? Lore grimoires. Every traveling historian has one, or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa. A traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild and a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. My controller didn't work. I don't have a way to pay you, but if you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. It's the perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire. Sign me up. Great. Just bring me any artifacts you find and we'll see how my lore grimoire reacts. How many stories do you have so far? Just one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimoire. They were thought extinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Ooh. I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. Oh. <laughs> I was waiting. Hey, want to hear a story? Ooh, the music. Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. The story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortens, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining his skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until, one day, the inevitable happened. Hortense, who, whose first love was magic, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full-time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation 
harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets the silly idea out of her head. But she had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place until only Hortons remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the sea of nightmare. Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Horton. Legend has it, she gets a short break once a day, but for a few seconds, at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vesper Day. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Wow. Hey, want to hear a story? No, you told me the one story you have. <laughs> story time by the Campfire Sunny. I didn't even know traveling historians were a thing. I wonder how many of them there used to be. Uh, rest. Good night, folks. That was kind of cool. I like that. A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given the situation with the lift. Huh? Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East of here, along the path. Mind if I stick around for a while? We have the same destination. The more the merrier. Peeks joins the cargo. The cargo? I mean, cargo. Oh, I wanted, I wanted her to move over. Oh well. Sorry, words. Aha! I dealt three damage to you and got uh. The mana thing. Why is mana? It's fine. That thing has such high defense. Experience. Oh, 
Is this one of those, those, yeah, those things. Not really sure what that does though. I don't know what that does. I don't know. Is that something to fight? Mountains are n mountains are nice. Okay. Cool. gonna bother me. I don't, uh, oh, he's kind of cool. Why is everybody panic? The elder hasn't returned. Alcoma will kill us all. Run! What are we running from? Who are you? Have you come to save us? Well, of course, they're solstice warriors. Garl! It's true, no? We should help if we can. What's the matter? It's Malcoma, the earth elemental wizard. We're just a peaceful little outpost taking care of the mine's wind tunnels. It's our job it is to keep them unobstructed so that the wind can play the melody for the sleeper. But now he has taken over the mine, so we can't go in anymore. And if the sleeper wakes, it will be the end of the world. What's more, he clogged the tunnel powering the great elevator's windmill, so we can't even go to Brisk to ask for help. If this continues, Malcoma's minions will start pouring out of the mines and... And... It's okay, we're here to help. What happened next? The, the elder went in to try and stop him, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? Just up there at the top of the outpost, but he's very powerful. Don't worry, we'll find your elder. One evil wizard going down. Oh, what luck, thank you. Everyone stop panicking. Oh, <laughs> how can pop it out of the ground, it's so cute. Solstice warriors are here to solve everything. The Elder will return. How come I won't kill us all? Yay! Uh... Maybe don't count your chickens before they're hot. I'll let you get on with it then. There's still lots for me to learn here. Aww. She needs to come back and join the party. I can't sleep since he took over the mines. I fear his minions might attack the town at any moment. Up the lift. This whole hold on. This whole Malcolm and business is so annoying. I just want to get back to work. Why is everyone angry? I don't get it. The water mill stopped functioning when he clogged the wind tunnels. There's no more water in the well. I really want to take a bath. Will you go in the mines to help? takes so much to learn here yeah she's not gonna help me she's gonna stand it sit there and stare out over the thing oops Are you the solstice warriors i really hope you can defeat you know, be careful in the mines apparently someone spotted a monstrous salamander oh that's even better mushrooms Oh, uh, 
No. Uh, how, how, how do I get out of here? Oh. I thought that was a wall. <laughs> I need bro. I may have robbed you. Hello. Hey, good job, kid. Were my chests okay? Ah, just kidding. It's the least I could offer as payment. Thanks for the help. Wait, what, what did I help you with? <laughs> I don't know what I helped him with. I guess he was locked out of there. Uh, sure, anytime, I guess. Are you really so sis warriors? That's so cool. Mom says we can't go out, but it's boring in here. There's nothing to do. I can't let my kids go outside with everything going on. It's too dangerous. Heading out, have a look at my equipment and food. Buying it. Yes. Where's all this? I don't know, but we got the weapons. Oh, can I sell while I'm here? Yeah, so oops. So those. It's blocked. Hello. Even with all the panic going on, my brother won't come out of his studio. All he w does is paint all day long. Security rules reminder, no jumping down. Well, there's no lift there, so. Are you the elder? Oh yeah, are you the elder? <laughs> I, I am, and you are? Solstice warriors, we're here to confront Malcolm. My, how wonderful. What can you tell us about the situation? Not much, I'm afraid. I was simply trying to get away from the noise of all the panic when everyone started cheering as if I was going in to fix the problem. <laughs> the leader's like, oh great. So now I am stuck here, equally afraid to venture forth as I am to return to my people without a solution. Don't sweat it, Elder. We got you. I certainly hope so. Be careful in there. Malcolm is one mighty wizard. Wind tunnels. Miner's break room. Is there anything in the break room? Oh, there's a dude in the break room. Hey there, need something for the road. Oh. I didn't... I guess in case I missed him. That's pretty cool. I shall have to remember that you are there. Am I supposed to push this? I'm, uh, I'm on it. I don't should do it that. Yeah, I need to push it. Every button that I can. Literally. Yeah. What does it say? No jumping down. Yeah, I did. I, I may have. To. Oh, there's a ladder.
Well, that's just rude. What did I find? Um At least I uh, broke hit two of his things. This is what I have to do later, maybe. Maybe when I can get in there. Oh. Crap. I don't have the mana to deal with any of this. the other one that was casting it. Oops, sis. Oh, he has one health.
Oh, I missed. <laughs> I'm doing terrible. I also can't really see him back there. Oh, you brought power back. I suppose I will be going then. The mines continue below. Please stop, Malcomud. Okay, bye. Don't worry about me. <laughs> they took off. Alright, that is going to be it for me tonight. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out and playing uh, some Sea of Stars with me. I appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like and subscribe, it always makes my day and it really helps the channel out a lot. So I really appreciate it. You guys have been super supportive. It, you guys have been just amazing, each and every one of you. Um, I also have a Discord in case anybody wants to come hang out. I try and post uh, any of my uh, new videos on there uh, for alerts. I also have a Twitter or X or whatever it is. Um, I'm not as good about posting there though. I'm pretty bad about it actually, but I do have one. <laughs> I'm pretty new to Twitter. So I don't always remember to post there. But thank you guys so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, Sea of Stars. I'm really, really loving this game. It's been really good. And yeah, as always, please take care and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.